So you can see I'm holding the probe really low. I've got my little finger anchored on the skin, so I'm so the probe is just lightly hovering over the skin, not putting any pressure. Um, when I'm going to insert the needle, I'm not looking at the. I get my image of the vessel on the screen first, and then when I'm confident I have that, I'm not looking at the screen at all. I'm just looking at the probe in the needle inserting the needle directly parallel in the center of the probe um, and I'm going to put it underneath the probe watching the needle and the probe not watching the screen okay now when I feel like I think I've got it under the probe I'm going to look up at the screen and I should be able to see my needle already and you can see it coming in from the, from the right side of the screen and then I can the needle needs to be the key here is you need to have a really sharp image of the needle and a really sharp image of the vessel in the same frame. So um, on the screen you can see the needle is there and I, some, I like to scan to both sides to see if I get a sharper picture of the needle on either side of the vessel. So here, they seem to be in the same frame but when I move a little bit to the right, I, the image is a little bit sharper so I'm aware that I might just be a little bit off to the right of the vessel. Now I'm going to advance, watching the screen, flattening out my angle, trying to make sure I'm keeping a sharp image of the vessel and a sharp image of the needle on the same, on the same screen. So right now you can see that the image of the needle, look back up to the, to the you can see how much clearer the image of the needle became just then. Um, when the needle is inside blood rather than inside tissue, the definition becomes much sharper. So that, I'm confident that that's in. I'm advancing the whole thing together a little bit of a way, then I'll, then I'll just advance the cannula.